Halogenation of the alpha carbon is the subject of this webcast and provides a nice example of the reactivity of enols and enolates towards electrophiles. You'll recall from the lesson on alkene additions that the halogens X2 can serve as electrophiles. Each halogen can be considered as a leaving group in and of itself, and in the leaving of that leaving group, we can imagine a partial positive charge developing on the other halogen atom. Under acidic conditions, a ketone present in the reaction mixture can isomerize to the nucleophilic enol form, shown here, and this enol form can add to the electrophilic bromine in an AE type step. This addition leads to the oxocarbenium ion intermediate shown here. And then after proton transfer, mediated by either the conjugate base of the acid present or Br minus, we're left with the halogenated ketone product. For all but the most reactive of ketones, this reaction under acidic conditions can be stopped at the monohalogenation stage. However, under basic conditions, the situation is slightly different. Under basic conditions, deprotonation of the ketone generates an enolate intermediate, which then attacks the electrophilic halide to give a neutral ketone product alongside a negative halide anion. The neutral alpha halo ketone is more acidic than the original starting material. Therefore, the product of this first step is able to undergo a successive deprotonation if more protons are present on the alpha position and undergo halogenation once or twice more. If there are three protons present on the alpha position, as is the case for a methyl ketone, then the addition of three equivalents of bromine and three equivalents of base will lead to the formation of a tribromo ketone. The tribromo methyl group is a pretty good leaving group, and so hydroxide anion is able to nucleophilically add to this relatively electrophilic carbonyl group and then displace the tribromomethyl group in an elimination type process to give after an acid base exchange or proton transfer as you may be more familiar with it a carboxylate group and bromoform a halo form is a methane derivative in which three of the hydrogens in CH4 have been replaced by halogen atoms because this reaction leads to the formation of haloforms, it's been aptly called the haloform reaction.